ourselves in our day. The Lord may be asking us about how busy we are and about the many positive and negative influences competing for our attention and our time. What we really value in life, who we follow, and how we view our relationships with family members and neighbors. He may be asking each of us if we love him more than the things of this world. Do the things of this world bring us the joy, happiness, and peace that the Savior offered to his disciples that he offers to us? My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. How would we answer the question, Lovest thou me more than these? When we love and follow him, we have faith in him. We repent. We follow his example. We forgive family members and neighbors by letting go of grudges we may be holding. We earnestly strive to keep God's commandments. We strive to be obedient. We honor our fathers and mothers. We set aside negative worldly influences. The scriptures teach that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoso believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. To believe is to love and follow our Savior and keep the commandments, even in the midst of trials and strife. Today's world is unsettled. There are disappointments, disagreements, distress, and distractions. We cannot lose our love for and hope in Jesus, even if we face seemingly overwhelming challenges Heavenly Father and Jesus will never forget us. They love us. We must always remember that our true happiness depends upon our relationship with God, with Jesus Christ, and with each other. One way to demonstrate our love is by joining family, friends, and neighbors in doing some small things to better serve each other. Do things that make this world a better place. I ask again, how would you respond to the Savior's question? Lovest thou me more than these? I pray that you may answer as Peter did so long ago. Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee and then show it by loving and serving God and all those around you.